Hey, what's up? This is Pat from Smart Passive Income. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Lead Player, a really awesome video player WordPress plugin you can use on your website to embed YouTube videos. But not only that, you can actually include opt in forms for your email list and call to action buttons on top of your video. It's, it's awesome. You'll see exactly how this works. I'm going to walk you through how I do it right now. Now, what I'm going to do is actually on my getting started page, there's a video here where it just makes sense to have a call to action at the end of it. When I scroll down, there's a domain and hosting sec uh, section where I have a video already there that I've posted on YouTube. It's been on YouTube for a while, and uh, it walks people through how to build a blog. Now, it just makes sense that at the end of this, that if there was a button that people could click on that was actually a link through my affiliate link, uh, if people make a purchase through that, I get a commission. Uh, it just makes sense to have that at the end of this video. So that's what I'm going to do with Lead Player. Now, the first step is to get the link from YouTube for the specific video you want to put through the lead player uh, functions. And I'm gonna grab it from YouTube here. I'm gonna go over to lead player and click add new video. I'm gonna add that URL here, include the video title, and uh, you know you can change these other options, like I know the height and, and the width of this particular video. Uh, you can have it autoplay, allow pause, show timeline, enable HD. Another cool thing is you can actually add your own thumbnail image when the video is embedded on your site. If you're not a YouTube partner, you can't do that. And most people are not YouTube partners. So now Lead Player gives you the ability to create your own thumbnails, which is great for, again, membership sites. Uh, so I'm going to actually have uh, go through the other options here. I can include an opt-in form at any moment in time during this video, which I don't want to do on this one. I want to include a call to action. Now, the call to action is uh, I'm going to click on Yes, and you'll see that I can change the button to say, click here to get a discount on your Bluehost hosting today. And my URL, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to set it up for my affiliate link. And I want this to show up at the end of the video. And that's it. So I'm going to save that new video. It's set up to show a call to action at the end of the video with this button, uh, with showing this text. And that URL will be the link. So I'm going to save new video, go back to my videos. And up here, it's the first one. Actually, I can actually click on it to preview it. Now you'll see it there. Uh, I'll actually show you the what it looks like once it's posted. You All you need to do is copy this short code like I am right now. I'm just gonna hit copy and paste that wherever you want that video to show up. So I'm gonna go into my uh, HTML here. Uh, actually, you can see it down here in, uh, you wanna post it not in HTML, you wanna post it in visual uh, if you have a short code. Uh, let's see, domain and hosting, there's that big video there. Let me get rid of that and just paste the lead player short code. I'm gonna hit update. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this post and I'm gonna scroll down and you'll see the video actually looks a little bit different. It's a lot cleaner. I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna scroll to the very end where that button should show up so you can kind of see what it looks like uh, when it finally gets there. So just in a couple seconds, it should pop up for you. All right, awesome. So now that button shows up. Actually, I can click on it and you'll see it takes me right to Bluehost through my affiliate link for that discount. So that's awesome. Now I wanna show you what it looks like if you embed an opt-in form for an email list. And I have that set up on a, another video that I have right now. So I'm just gonna hit play and you're gonna see an opt-in form pop up and kind of see what that looks like. Boom, there's the opt-in form. You can change the text on any of this stuff. Uh, you can give people to op the option to skip this step or not skip it and require them to enter their email address to continue watching, uh, which is pretty ninja. Uh, I'm actually just gonna skip this for now and you can see that the video actually plays on. So that's those are some really, really great things uh, that Lead Player allows you to do. And I've already seen, you know, this, this video we just put up on, uh, where is it? This one. Uh, the how to build a blog one. This had been up for a month. I actually just deleted it so I could show you how to put it up there again. And dozens of people have gone through that button and converted into, you know, buying customers. And, and I've earned a commission off it. And I mean, it actually works. I mean, it just makes sense. At the end of certain videos, it makes sense to have a call to action to have them do something. Now, a couple other quick things uh, in Lead Player, you have player options where you could change the text of your buttons and the colors and things like that. 
And lastly, let's talk about the default video settings area because there's some really exciting stuff going on here. Uh, there's three sections, video, opt-in, and call to action. Under video, that's just the basic you know, video size for all new videos that you create and some other options. But what I really want to talk about is the opt-in and the call to action default settings. When you create a new video, you can choose to customize it or use the default settings. Uh, if you create, for example, 10 videos that use the default settings, it's always going to refer to the options that you put here. So what happens is you have the ability to instantly change the call to actions or what happens in the opt-in forms across all of the videos on your site that use default as the setting. So for example, if I come out with a book uh, and you know the default setting has 10 videos, which at the end says, hey, thank you for watching this video, go buy my book. Uh, I can have it be one link and maybe I come out with a second book or maybe I come out with a course. Then I can just change it here in the default video settings in this call to action area. I can just change this URL and the button text and it updates it across the entire site where all those videos are using the default settings. So it's just, it's just really amazing. You can instantly change you know, what's happening through all your videos in the call to actions if you use the default video settings uh, in your videos. And I'll show you that really quick. For example, if I go to edit in one of my videos in call to action, I can set it as the default one. Right now, uh, the default is disabled. But if I go back here, go to call to action and click yes, and uh, end and save settings. If I go back to that video, hit edit, and go to call to action, uh, and hit default, you'll see that the default is what I set in default. So I, I can it just changes across the board. Now I don't want it to do that, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to hit no on call to action, uh, and then that should update here for me. Call to action default nope. So I'm just going to hit yes because that's what I wanted to do, and uh, that's it. So that's lead player. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited as I am about it. If you want to check out more, if you want an affiliate link for it. Um, I recommend actually you go through the link that's below this video if you're watching this in YouTube because that's going to take you to the blog post where I could potentially have some discounts and things like that. I've worked with a developer on uh, on on hooking people up if you are watching this early in the uh, kind of debut of this video uh, kind of player on my site. So if not, that's okay. I mean, whatever. I just want you to get more leads and get more sales and, and have more action going on on your site. And Lead Player is a great way to do that. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.